Okay, let's talk about managing shared mailboxes in Microsoft 365. Now, shared mailboxes are a little bit different than a standard mailbox. So for a shared mailbox, there's a couple of reasons we'll use it. We can convert a standard mailbox to a shared mailbox, and we'll frequently do that when we're going to have somebody move on from our organization. But another reason we will do it is we will do it if we want multiple people to have access to like maybe a generic mailbox or something like that. Uh, maybe a generic information mailbox. We could set it up as a distribution list and have the email simultaneously go to everybody that it was supposed to go to, or we can create a shared mailbox and just give them access to it. So let me show you how this is going to work. I've already got my Exchange Admin Center open. So I'm going to go to add a shared mailbox and I'm going to set a display name and I am going to do a shared mailbox for ring bearers. I'll set an email address for, let's just do ring at, and then we're going to choose our domain name and then we're going to select an alias. Um, and we don't have to do an alias. It's another name we could use. So if we had, let me do it this way, ring bearers, and then I can just alias this to bearers. So people can email just this instead of the whole email address if they want. They can find it that way. So I'm going to create the shared mailbox. Now, that establishes the shared mailbox. Uh, email address is already being used. Okay. We'll change this to a long one. People who carried the one ring. There, I know that one's not being used. I think I'm using ring bearers as one of my groups somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to add my shared mailbox, and that's going to be done here. Now, once we do the shared mailbox, once we have it, the shared mailbox is up, running, people can email it, but nobody actually has access to it. So for that, we're going to need to add users to this mailbox. And right here, this is going to show uh, how to use uh, shared mailboxes in Outlook. So if you're not familiar with using a shared mailbox, that would probably be worthwhile for you to uh, review. Also, if you're looking for other collaboration tools in Microsoft 365, or here it says Office 365, this is the link you're going to follow. Now, I want to add users to this mailbox. And so we're going to add members, and this is people who carried the one ring. So that's going to be Bilbo, and it's going to be Frodo, and it's going to be Sam, since they have all carried it. So I'm going to click Save. Are you sure you want to delegate permissions to these mailboxes? Yes, I do. And so now, please wait while, the delegate permit, while we do the delegation of permissions. So once this completes, all three of them will have access to that mailbox. Notice it might take up to 60 minutes for the change to be effective in Outlook and Outlook Web Access. That's OWA. Okay, cool. So it's going to take a little while for it to happen. But what will happen now is any of those three users will be able to open up this mailbox, interact as that mailbox, store information in that mailbox, see emails were sent to that mailbox. You get the idea. It functions just like a regular mailbox, except instead of being dedicated to one user, now it's being used by anybody who is part of uh, this particular shared mailbox, who has access to the shared mailbox. Okay, there we go. We have created a shared mailbox. Now to delete a shared mailbox, pretty straightforward. Actually, let's go ahead and click on the shared mailbox first. We have the same kinds of things when it comes to managing it that we have with the standard mailbox. I can hide mailbox. I can set up forwarding. I could set send on behalf of permissions. Same basic information we've seen. When we go to delegation, you'll see send as and full access. We already have three. Okay, that's what happened when we added them as members. No, now, if we want to add somebody else as a member to the mailbox, we can come in here and add them to the send as and uh, read in, uh, manage, or full access. And then they would have permission to access this mailbox as well. Other than that, maintaining the mailbox in uh, setting options for the mailbox is pretty much the same as dealing with a standard mailbox. And then if we want to delete it, 
same thing we've done before, select it and then delete. We also have an option because this is a shared mailbox and not a user mailbox. We can also manage delegation right here. And that will take us straight to that particular uh, setting. Okay, there we go. Let me go ahead and delete it. We delete it just like any other mailbox. Are you sure you want to? Confirm and then deletions in progress. It'll take it a couple of minutes, not that long actually. Just feels that way. And then our mailbox was deleted successfully. Okay, there we go. Notice it's still showing up here. It's actually going to disappear before long, but it doesn't refresh the screen right away. Okay, there we go. Managing shared mailboxes in Microsoft 365.